do you want to know why we no longer have wise elders in our community? Well, they're few and far between. But especially in the baby boomer generation, did we lose the wise elders? Not elders, because they're all getting older. Everybody ages. But wise elders, those you can lean on, those who give you advice, those who give you support. My theory is that, you know, a lot of the baby boomer generation, a lot of those individuals don't even know who they are. If you looked at some of your parents, they changed their names. They, they converted to these religions that lie to them and they're not even loyal to. And um, they're just confused on who they are because they probably were abused mentally, physically, spiritually by their parents who um, had poverty mindsets. Like it's a, it's a lot of the poverty mindset in our community. But in addition to that, a lot of these elders, they're trying to be young. You know, they're trying to be keep up with social media and, ooh, you know what, Kim Kardashian did. Yo, I remember this 60-something-year-old woman mentioned that in the room one day. And I'm like, Kim Kardashian, bitch, why you ain't talking about Ethel and Mary? You know what I'm saying? First of all, why are you gossiping? One. But if you're going to gossip, gossip about your age group, your realm of knowledge, your realm of reach. Okay, at the elderly center. Why don't you talk about what happened during the pinochle game? Okay, you up here worrying about Kim Kardashian. What? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and your kids is out here struggling. If you look at a lot of baby boomer parents, their children don't like them. Okay, a lot of, I'm, I'm going to just throw it out like 90% of the people that I know that are in my age group don't have great relationships with their parents because their parents are still trying to find themselves. They've been trying to find themselves and they won't call it that, right? They're not in touch with themselves. They don't know who they are. So they live vicariously through their kids. That's the generation that made their kids be doctors, lawyers, and everything that they couldn't be. Everything that they couldn't be so they that so that they can live vicariously through them. I have cousins that'll be like, oh yeah, can't wait until my, my son get into the NBA so I can be balling. Bitch, you do, why don't you start a fucking business? Why don't you go find a great job? Why don't you go back to school, make some money and be balling yourself? Why are you relying on your kids to get you through? But that's what a lot of that baby boomer generation came from. That whole reliance on, okay, I'm gonna pop out a baby and they're going to feed me. Not understanding that when they popped out a baby, it was their responsibility to guide those children throughout their entirety. Not just when they turn 18, but throughout their entirety with knowledge, with wealth, with help, with support, with guidance. But we lost that, especially in the black, just really, I'm gonna focus on the black community because I don't know what they're doing in other communities because they're united. Okay, they're very united. But when I drive down the street, I see Jose and Maria with their little taco trucks and little vending uh, machines and tents outside, building businesses on a golf cart. I saw this lady with a golf cart uh, with chips and all making nachos and shit from her golf cart. But you rarely see that in the black community anymore. Why? Because we lost our elders. The elders are running, running behind us trying to fuck with little ass kids. 60 something 70 year old men men that were supposed to be our mentors trying to holler at us nigga i don't give a fuck if i'm 40 i don't want no nigga that's 60 years old but what, what we gonna do what we gonna talk about geritol i don't know what the fuck like why do these men like it's a it's an influx of men that think that they are sugar daddies sugar daddy nigga like it, it's just weird like you can't be no sugar daddy. Just take care of your kids first. Take care of your kids before you try to go out and try to take care of a woman. And then instead of trying to take care of a woman, give her some valuable advice on how to start a business, how to be successful, how to invest, where to move, how to buy property, how to do land. You know, none of that information was passed down from my family. You know, my family members have land but they don't want to pass on that information because they don't want to see you doing better, doing better than them. Why can't all of us be doing great? Why can't all of us be on the land together? You know what I'm saying? Why can't we all have like a hundred acres and have our own fucking town? 
This is how families used to do it back in the day. This is how my grandfather's generation was before they kicked them off the land. The, white, the KKKs kicked them off their land. They had a whole community. And after that, it was everybody for themselves. So honestly, it started with that older generation and that's why the baby boomer generation is so fucked up because their dads and their moms, they had to flee for their lives. They had to migrate. They had to do so much stuff to overcome racial um, issues and just challenges in their lives. But that's no excuse. The, the, the thing is, these people, these elders need to do some inner child healing. I know 67, 60, 70 year olds still talking about stuff that happened stuff that happened with them when they were children how how they used to have to wear corsets and how it traumatized them when they were seven bitch you 72 do you still gotta wear a corset it's your choice now you feel me like tell me now how i should guide me on living my life guide me on building guide me on how to be successful in this life I don't want. I don't want to talk about uh, in 1962 what happened. That's a long time ago. I can't wait until I meet valuable elders. I actually have met valuable el elders in the corporate sector because they're more grounded. They they've had to you know fight a little bit harder to keep to get to where they are. Um, so they're appreciative of their position and their roles. They're not in a poverty mindset. So those people were really valuable to me. But honestly, a lot of those people, it was only one black person that made a good elder to me. Everybody else was white because they know how to mentor and guide. You know what I'm saying? Like they still do. They still about their bullshit, but they ain't about that messy shit. They ain't about that. Oh, let's sit up in the living room and gossip about why Aisha ain't coming around and why uh, I ain't. I see I'm spying on her social media. And uh, according to Facebook, uh, she is a... No, shut the fuck up. According to this family, you're destroying it. You're destroying the legacy because all you want to do is sit up in the fucking living room and gossip. That's the legacy that you're leaving for your kids and your grandkids. You're not leaving, oh, property. Oh, here's how you find property since I can't pass it down to you. Here's how you find investments since I can't guide you in it, in it, in it physically. Let me, let me cut and try to teach you about it. They ain't doing that shit. They sitting around, not even playing pinochle. They sitting around looking at you on social media. Nigga, what the fuck you doing on Facebook? You should be fucking relaxing. Nigga, ain't you retired? You know, I mean, when, when elders got on Facebook, I knew that that was the end for Facebook when they got on Facebook because I was on Facebook when it was only offered to college students. I was at Howard when it first came out and it was limited to college students and then it opened up to other people and then everybody and their great, great, great grandfather got on Facebook and that's just been the portal for gossip and that's been the divider and separator within our community, social media, because people wanna, instead of checking on you, calling you, oh, let me just check Facebook and see uh, if, she, if she alive. If, if, if she posted 10 days ago, then that means she's okay. Look at elders. These are the elders that we have. And so this generation, whatever we are, fucking X, Y, Z, I don't give a fuck, 30 and up, it's our responsibility to be elders, to be wise elders and leaders in our community. It's now our responsibility because our parents couldn't do it because our parents were more more uh, concerned with the, the elders in their church or the elders in their mosque and what they were telling them, misguiding them, misusing the word of God to control their children, to control their communities instead of teaching, mentoring, guiding, and helping. They are in a mindset of control. So guess what? Let them be in that little controlling world. And after they're all got, said and done, you have to make sure as, as, as whatever generation that you're in, if you have children, grandchildren, whatever, make sure that you are a guide. You know, make sure you're a guide to them kids. Make sure that you're a positive role model and you can give wisdom based on your life experiences. Don't be like your parents, man. That's not something I aspire to. I don't aspire to be anything like my parents. You know, um, 